for last. This is the last. Try natin kung okay. Kung hindi pa, well, sorry to say, next time na lang ulit. <laughs> if someone is watching, let me know if the video quality or voice quality is okay. Okay, so I think we just have to start. So, for today's class, we'll be, we'll be doing... Uh, yoga stretches for uh, or yoga flow for the shoulders, chest, and then neck muscles. With this flow, we release tightness and tension on your shoulders. Hi, Charlene. So it will re release tension on your shoulders, neck, and chest. So what we will be needing is a piece of strap like this one, yoga strap. Sorry. If you don't have a um, strap like this, then Maybe a belt will do, or rope, or maybe a long towel, bus towel. So get your prop, and then hold your strap about the length of your arm length, or a meter, one meter. So take your strap and extend it forward so in front of your chest, and then bring it up over the head. So squeezing in your shoulder is trying to to expand the chest muscles. And then once you do that, you have to feel if you if you feel stretch on the chest on the front of your neck. If there's no stretch happening there, then maybe you need to take your hands a little bit closer. And once your hands are up over the head, you have to squeeze your shoulders and back muscles. And then bring the arms backward all the way to the back. So creating stretch on your chest. And then down behind the hip. We'll do that a couple of times. So move your strap up over the head and then down towards the hip. So again, extend your strap up over the head, squeezing your shoulders, bringing the chest down, and then softening your shoulders once your hands are down beside the hip. So three more like that. So be slow and be gentle with your shoulders. Breathe in as you go up and arch the spine. Breathe out as you relax the shoulders and arms. The last two. So as you repeat this one, the chest, shoulders becomes more flexible. So you might want to lessen the distance of your hands or make your strap a little bit closer or narrower. The final one. And then relax. So next one, you hold your strap with your right hand or whatever you have there, towel or rope. Then bring it behind. Then down behind your back hand. Touch the other end of your strap with your other hand. Now you have to pull the arm upward. So in doing that, you can feel the stretch here on the front of your shoulders and Chest. Take your breaths here. And notice the breath. Keep expanding your chest, expanding the whole sides of the body. And then release. We'll do the same thing on the other side. You just have to hold the strap. Left hand, so bend it up and down, then hold the end of the strap or power, raise your opening arm, then pull it up. So squeezing in your shoulders, opening your chest, and standing straight, standing tall. Take a few breaths here. And then release. Now you let go of your strap. And then go on top of the mat. So standing forward on top of your mat. Relax your hands beside you. You have to press the feet down equally. You have to activate your belly. Activate your back. Make the spine long and straight. So you breathe in and extend your arms upward. 
try to bring your arms behind. Okay, put a little stretch here on the sides of the body. And chest more. And gently bend backward. So as you bend backward, tighten your navel. Push your seat bones down and keep pressing the feet. Observe what's going on at the back of the neck. Then on your exhale, return to the center. And I recommend the knees as you hinge from the hip. Keep the spine long, then bend forward to reach the floor. In case you cannot touch the floor, it's okay, you just have to take your hands on your shins. Let the head fall. And try to relax your breathing. So stay on the forward fold for five breaths. And if you're more flexible, then try to fully straighten the legs. Hi, Lori. So straighten the legs and feel the bump of the thighs. And then slowly rise and extend your arms upward. Inhale. Relax to your hands down. Relax. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, you raise the arms upward. Tighten the elbows, press the feet, and then gently bend backward. So stay on the back bend for three deep breaths. So notice that you're squeezing on the middle part of the spine and less of the lower back. Again, activate your abdomen. That will prevent any uh, tension of the lower spine. Then as you exhale, you bend forward, reach from the hip, hands on the floor, and Close to the legs. And three deep breaths on this pose. And slowly lift the chest, arms overhead, reach the arms up, press the feet down, and exhale, hands to the side. So inhale, bring the arms up and back. And just stand straight and push your limbs, or extend your limbs away from. Exhale, you fold forward. Connect your palms to the floor above the knees. of your shoulders. Then extend the spine to the front. Bend the legs, palms to the floor. And then you go to your fourth pose. So on the fourth, you align your hands and your shoulders. And the knees below the hip. Now, navel in. Then from here, you extend your right hand up. Turning the body, turning your chest. And exhale, you extend your hand forward. The left side, so thread underneath your, your torso. So lower your shoulder to the floor, turn the hand to the left, and then extend the left hand forward. So this will stretch the sides of the body and then the right shoulder to the right legs. So you can keep your hand here or up, or maybe moving behind the waist. And turn your left shoulder upward. So notice that you're not moving this part of the hip. So feel the rotation of your spine. Now release, you take the left hand down to the floor, push the back, pull the right hand up. And then set your palm down to the floor. So you do the same thing on the other side, you'll set the left hand up. So push the floor, reach the hands up. And then exhale, you twist to the left. Again, you'll be resting this part, the left shoulder on the floor. And then look to your right. Straighten your right hand up. Again, you can have this option or arm over the head. Or move your hand here behind the hip and turn your right shoulder up. Whichever option you have, try to uh, make sure that the weight is resting on left shoulder and not of the neck. Now to release, take your right hand to the floor, left hand down. Now then from here, you, you just maintain the knees at the hip. Then walk your hands forward and try to sink your chest down and the head down. So align your, the hip bone with your knees and try to stretch your shoulders and chest muscles here. In case you're not okay with your elbows and shoulders, just bend. Stay here for three deep breaths. So you just let me know if you encounter some uh, problems on the video. It is chatting, so so I would know. Can't hear. Anybody, anybody, Ned? 
Just let me know if you cannot hear my voice. So going down and going up back your own So from here you extend your right hand forward in the left leg backwards. You have to extend the spine and the leg and the arm. Then as you exhale, bring the knee and the elbow towards the, the center. So you pull the navel in. Again, extend your arm forward, the breathing length. Exhale, navel in. Again, inhale, reach the arm forward, extend the spine. Exhale, get around the back. Inhale, again, extend. And exhale, down. This time you extend the arm and the leg, then move your hand backward, bend, left leg. And you do it on this side. So when you pull the leg, you have to feel this part of the chest stretching, also the front of your leg. And as you pull the leg higher, you have to feel the front of the, the thigh. So pulling the leg, stay for three minutes. As then release the pose, extend the leg, the arm, the spine, and then take your hand and go. The other leg, reach the right leg backward, left hand forward, inhale fully, exhale, meet your elbow. Inhale, so we do this four rounds, exhale, meet your elbow. Again, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, two more sets. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Reach the arm, the leg, away from the hip. Then move your hand backward, bend the leg, and hold your foot. So pull the foot up as high as you can. Until you feel your chest, until you feel the front of your right thigh and the right hip. Continue pushing the floor. Continue breathing. Deep and slow. And then you release. Take your knee, the palm of the floor, back your toes, and from here. Lift the hip. Lift the hip. Move your down dog. So this is your first down dog stretch. So you can slowly pedal your feet. So fold the knees, then extend. So go forward to a plank pose, keeping your back tight. Put back to a knock. This for a few times to release or loosen out the tightness of the joints. It's the body. Knees, your ankles, your feet, and shoulders. Now stay on the pose for five deep breaths. So, on this pose, you want your hands, your spine to be fully straight. So, never mind if you can have fully extended knees, if you're tight on the hamstrings, so push them. And lift them again. Let's also feel the stretch of the legs and the side body. I look forward and step your feet on top of your mind. As your shins make the back flat, inhale, then exhale, you fold forward. Inhale, rise and extend your arms upward. Exhale, hands down. Take a rest. Deep and slow breath for your nose. Now inhale, bring the arms up again, extend the spine, and exhale, bend forward, patiently. Inhale, look forward, make the spine longer. Bend the legs, palm to the floor, and step backward. The plank position. The fourth beginner is to just take your knees down. More advanced, keep your whole body straight. Then you lower your chest halfway, or if you don't have enough strength on the arms, you then go over. Push the chest up. Keep going down, chest as high as you can. Look back. Then exhale, go back to a down dog. You push the floor and elevate the hip. And continue pushing the mat, pulling the hip, creating more stretch on the whole body. Push the focus on your breathing, create more length, more space, and every breath. Right foot on top, down. So 
lines of one that being and push the heat more away. So as you go down try to square the heat by turning the left thigh bone, the left knee bone in. Then you extend your arm up. To pull the elbows 90 degrees, you just have to level your elbows and your shoulders. Then to take your arm bones back or turning the bumps on. You look back and lean back. You feel you have to sweep your back body to create stretch here on the chest part. Don't force the lower back or the neck. And then release, you extend your arms up, the spine up, and then bend the left elbow. You hold the elbow with your right hand. So holding the elbow, pull your body down to your right. So as you pull, you have to feel your left uh, shoulder, not just the shoulder, the tricep, your left, your left hip stretch. So the lower you go, the more you can feel this one. Now you use to extend your arms upward. Take your hands down on the floor. If there's another stretch, you straighten on your right leg, take your hands behind. Uh, not behind, below your shoulders, and extend the spine. So make the spine longer. Elevate the spine fully. And after exhale, you fold. So moving the head down. Don't force the back, don't force the leg. Just help you. Just have to find that enough stretch on the body. And then look forward, bring the right leg, turn the left leg. And then plant the left foot down, coming up to a warrior pose. Uh, one, you have to balance the hip, reach the arms up. And then from here, extend your hands sideways, turn the thumbs downward. So you interlace the feet. If you can squeeze your shoulders and try to broaden your chest, extend the hands down, look up. Now see if you can bend backward and push the hands down and away from the hip without putting too much uh, effort on your lower back. And as you escape, you bend forward. So don't move the hips sideways. You hinge, drop the right heel and move your head downward. So then push the arms up. Then keep going lower, closer to the floor, as long as the feet is not moving sideways. Now then release. Rise and extend your arms up. Straighten your elbows. Then again, take your palms down to the floor. Bring your right leg backward to a back position. Straighten your whole body. Again, if you notice the other option, raise down the chest all the way down. Yes, you need to get the tie to the back. The next thing, tap your toes and go for down dog. Now we step the left foot forward between the palms and take your right knee to the floor. You spread your feet on the top of the hands of the knee. You can balance the hip, roll in your chest, then extend your arm. Bend the elbows, rotate your elbows backward, look back, and try to feel your chest, sides, for that cooperation and stretching. If not, then you have to move from effort, add more effort. Now that we need the pose. So take your hands in forward, right hand, left leg. You bend the right arm and hold the elbow with your left, and then pull your body down towards the left side. So feel that lateral stretch. And then release, extend your arms, the spine, bend your hands down on the floor, and then you straighten in the last leg. So adjust your hands, adjust whichever part of the body that you need to uh, to move so you can feel the stretch. And you can bend. Your head closer to the leg if you are more flexible on this pose, especially on your on your hands knees. So look forward, bend the left leg, extend your right leg, and try to flatten the foot, the back, back foot down. So align the left left foot with the arch of the back foot, and drop up. So do not pull the 
They have five on bottom line, and the other, on the right side, will take score line. Get eyes over the head, stretch, breathe in, and breathe out. The focus of the stretch, focus in your breathing, avoid any distractions. So, hands down, bring the palms down, then, and tap your palms behind your head. And squeeze in your shoulders, broaden right the chest, bend back. Pushing the hands down and maybe away from the hip. When the legs came down forward, so don't move the hips sideways. Hold from the left hip joint and move the head as slow as you can. Now squeeze in your shoulders, push the arms upward, and stay. Now pull your hands up, and then arms over the head. Back to all the toes, one. Now hands to the floor. Turn to your plank pose or all fours. Low plank or chaturanga. Down dog. So bring it over the right one. Then go back to your down dog. Make the hip push the floor and stretch the sides of the body. So five deep breaths of the pose. You keep your arms, your legs, especially your foundations active. Press on the floor. Keep that long deep breaths moving. Flowing through your nose. When you look forward, bend the knees and you go on down to your back. After your shins are on the floor, shift the hip to the way forward. Flatten the back and exhale, bend forward. Inhale, you lift the chest, slowly come up and extend your arms over the head. Stand straight. Take a rest for three breaths. So I guess there's no no more technical issues. So going back again, stand straight, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale and exhale. Then reach the arms up over the head. Now slowly bend back. Go as far as you can. When the exhale, you bend forward. Head moving down to your shin. Full exhalation. Next, inhale, look forward. Hold the legs, go back to a plank. Lower down to half plank. And again, push the floor, lift the chest. Straighten the elbows and squeeze in the shoulder muscles. Exhale, you lift the hip. Inhale and exhale for three. Look forward to step your right foot at the top of your mind. Step at left foot an inch or two forward, facing both legs, look to the front. Make the spine straight, make the legs straight. If you have the stretch there, just stay here. If you wish to go deeper, then go. Move the head down. Careful not to hurt the back as you, as you stay on the pose. And then slowly lift the chest, lift, lift the back, straight and long, hands up. Once again, reach the hands sideways, turn the thumbs down. So here, turn your palms behind, behind the chest. And take your palms together if you can do that. Reverse the elbow. If you cannot do that often, then hold the elbows. So what is important is you have to uh, really open your chest muscles, using your shoulder blades together. And then bend way. Consciously press the ball of your feet, the right foot, the right foot, down to bend. Now on the exhale, bend forward, so hinge from the hip joint, and extend the body forward. And just pause halfway and feel the legs. If you don't feel enough, bend. Maybe head to your shin. And then slowly lift the chest. Come up, arms over the head, bend your right leg. So readjust the left foot backward and press the ball of your foot to, to a high lunge. And then cross the left arm, the left arm over your right. Oh, sorry. 
just hang over your right hand. So you can intertwine your fingers together. So these should stretch these part of your shoulders, the delts, and of course your radial calf muscles in back. So squeeze it in your chest. Now from here, bend backward, push the elbows upward. As you do that, the back causes the uh, then as you lift, chin to your chest. And then lean forward, stand on top of your back. So you might want to step the left foot halfway first, and then find balance or stability on your right foot. Now come up and lean forward, pat on the floor, then you lift the left leg. So level your hip to the chest and the left knee to the Gaze down. You cross the left leg. So move your leg over your right. And if you're, if you're flexible enough to hold the foot behind the chair, then do that as long as you're not uh, forcing the knee. You're not torquing the knee. If you cannot balance doing that, just drop the foot down next to the other one. And keep the eagle pose. So then the legs sit with your back straight. Now release, straighten the left leg, your right leg, then bring it back. Coming down off your high lunge, hang up with the arms and stand. Up towards the ceiling. Hands down to the floor, step. Or smooth your right leg upward. Remember to balance the hip, not just focusing on how high the leg can go. Then go forward to plank pose. Use your choices to take the knee down or knees down. Go to your low. Push up. Going up to your abdomen, pushing the floor, pressing the feet. Going back to your down dog. Tap your toes, sleep in here. And then breathe in, breathe out. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. I step the left leg between the bones, extend both legs. So adjust your back foot, look forward, adjust the hip, turn the left hip bone, uh, backward and out. If you notice you have that stretch of the leg, then stay. Or maybe you can go down. And then it depends on how you are feeling the pose. Well, how do you want to feel? Coming up, lift your spine straight and long. Uh, your hands side, turn the palms down again. Turn your toes behind the chest. Or hold the elbows. Or one more option is to just interlace the fingers behind you. Then, whichever option you decide to take, you just have to focus on the squeezing action of your shoulders, broadening out the chest. Inhale. And exhale, bend forward. Then you follow to the floor, stay or go all the way down, and your shin. Keep pressing the feet, active legs. Then bring the body up. Release the arms, open the chest. Readjust your feet and bend it down to a high lunge. So this time you're going to cross your right arm. Flexing your chest, take the palms together and squeeze your the front muscles of your body. Move the elbows upward and bend. So continue bending the spine, continue pushing the elbows up to stretch your shoulders and back. Now you lean forward, you can go straight to your balancing pose, or you can step forward first, stabilize the left foot, then from here you, you go down. Parallel to the floor. So activate the, the back to straighten the spine, the glutes to extend the leg. As I lift the chest up, just keeping the arms across your right side, so on top of the left, then maybe hook your foot behind the shape, or maybe not, you can just drop the foot down next to the left foot and bend the legs. So see that you keep your spine as upright as you can, don't lean too far forward.
knees, extend the legs forward and back. And coming on the high lunge, arms overhead. Again, take your palms to the floor, move backward to back pose. And straighten your lower body, lower down. Down the and five deep breaths. You try to regulate your breathing, make it long and slow. And in that way, you can have it over faster. You can serve more energy. Now, for the next slow forward, you can jump straight to the top of your mat and just walk. Add to the floor on the shifts, the inhale, and exhale, bend. Inhale, rise and extend your arms upward, you're reaching as high as you can as you press the feet down to the floor. Pass down this arm here, take a rest. And then deep and long inhale, long exhale. Remember that through your breath, you can relax. Next, inhale, arms overhead, once again, bend backward. Exhale, bend forward. Hold down the knees. Look forward, flat back. Hold the legs, palms on the floor. You can step or you can jump to a flat. Push up, pose, to low motion. Inhale. Exhale, go back, go down Now inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, knee forward. You have to align the shoulders above your wrist. You have to pull the navel in, then step the foot on back. Turn the left foot out, so align the right heel with the arch of the left foot. Then bring the arms out onto the floor, hands sideways. Step the foot. You have to activate your glutes. You have to sink the hip as high as the knee. Keep the spine at the center, so upright and vertical. From here, to your right arm. Right palm up. Extend it over your head. To bend the elbow, hold it with your right. To pull, oh, sorry, hold it with the left and pull the elbow down to your left. To continue bending the body, stretching the right side. Again, breathe. Then again, reach the arms sideways. From here, you extend your body forward, resting the forearm on the thigh, extending the left arm over the head. So as you reach the arm over the head, you have to turn the palm in. In that way, you have more space for the arm bone to extend as high as you can go without uh, pinching you ligaments or tendons of your shoulders. In case you're not okay with arm overhead then just give a little space between the arm and the head. And turn the chest up. If you want your back, your chest, hip, feet at the same time. And then return to warrior pose two. Extend your right leg. So readjust the distance of your feet in case you need less space. Now open your hip by flexing the glutes. Now pull the hip bone. Back one. So you have to hinge here from the right hip. Then extend your body forward. Doing that, you, you lengthen the right side body. Then drop your right hand on the shin, left hand up. Or if you're more flexible, you can take your hand down on the floor as well as this uh, part of the body, the bend is, is not moving backward. The left hand up, or you can just take your hand on the shin. Rotate your arm bone inward. So you want your uh, palm to turn backward. Then move it here behind the hip. So once you have the hand behind the hip, see if you can reach the, the inner side of your right thigh. Keep that and turn your turn the left shoulder up. If you feel tension on the neck, looking up, just look down. Then again, coming up. You hold your right leg. You extend your hands again and follow to the floor. So strong legs, straight spine, or chest open. Have your palms back to the floor. 
then go back to the examples. Again, you know your options, going down, all dead scale, going up, on the inhale, on the The next scale, go to your down bow. Then inhale and exhale, proceed to the Now you step at least first the left leg. Go as far as you can there and step to the bottom. So from here you come up one over two. You turn the right foot down to the the arch of the foot here. So the left leg is the arch of the foot. Then come up to while you go. Take your feet closer. But if you are strong with your legs, flexible on the hip, then have more space between your feet. Hands like the feet. So again, turn the left palm up. Extend it over the head. Bend the elbow and hold it with your right and palm backward. But remember not to straighten the left leg. You bend the left leg, keep it at 90 degree angle. Then come up, extend your hands together to the sides. Then reach the arm forward, take your forearm, rest the forearm on your thigh, and extend your right arm up, turn the palm, towards the front, and extend it over the head. Again, you have to turn the right, take the right shoulder up, you have to flex these, uh, these muscles, glutes, back, and shoulders. Put yourself up, back door while you go to the Extend the left leg. Again, take your feet closer, do some modifications or adjustment. But you need to do. Straight spine, straight legs. Then extend your, your body forward as you pull the hip backward. To hinge from the left hip joint and take your hand down. Right hand up and take your palm on the door. So here you will turn your right palm backward. Move behind the hip. So you can hold again the left side of your, either side of your left side, and squeeze your shoulders in. Look up or down the floor. Now coming back up to your warrior pose of two. Hands down, straight, long spine. Hands down to the floor. Take a left step back. And then go down. Use the chest to save the elbows. Gently squeezing action on the back body. The legs here come to the feet to the back body to down there. You can stay here for five breaths on the down dog floor. Or you can go to your child pose, knees down, sit on your heels, head down, and just stay on your breath. Your down dog knees, the body knees, whatever. Prepare the toes, knees to be both out and back. Now lift your right leg up. The next knee, knee your chest, step the foot forward. Go back to your right foot on the stool. Reach the hands to the thighs. Just take one deep breath. And from here, straight hand, your right hand, shift the foot in. So turn the right foot in, your feet are pointing to the long side of your mat. Once again, going back to your evil pose. The right knee go over the left. Squeeze your chest, move your elbows as high as your shoulders. And keeping the spine straight. So we will bend from the hip joint. Bend forward and see if you can take the forearms down. Move your forearms down in case you cannot take the forearms down. Then you can adjust your feet. You want to push the forearms. Now as you can, let the back body expand. Your shoulder blades should move upward. So going down and stay for a few breaths.
had a lift the chest up. Outward, then right leg, back to your wire goes to. Then extend your hands upward, sorry, sideways. Then go into your fold version of a side under close. Move your body to the side and take your palm on the floor. Left hand up and turn the arm backward. So move your hand behind you. So from here, you're going to stay here, or you can, you can use the strap. So this one or now. Have something to hold on to so you could have a bind. The others you can take your right hand underneath the hip and behind. Let's see if you can have your fingers together for your body parts back on us. So hip forward, in line with the hip. And try to stay here. And then release. Coming back up your right toes too. Now then take your hands down to the top of your mat. You lower the left knee down. As you lower the left knee, you swivel that foot, the left foot uh, towards the left side. So as you extend that leg, or as you turn that leg, you extend your right leg to the right side of the back foot. You extend your right hand up. Again, you tone your belly, then bend. Bend your right leg and hold the foot. Then pull your foot backward as far back as you can to create stretch on your right front thigh and on your right chest. Now straighten your right leg. From here, take your hand down the floor. Straight and both legs. And then half or no. Inhale, you push the floor and then backward. Exhale, tap your toes. And then forward. So left leg up. Exhale, knee forward your chest. Step a two up. So coming back up to one two. Lift the chest up and hands to the side. And then straighten the left leg. Turn the left foot in. You're going to be just facing the front so you could hear me better. So your feet are then pointing towards the long sides of your mat. This time the left arm will go over. So you just have to change or switch your hands. Switch your hands and then level your elbows with your shoulders and then bend forward. So hold as far as you can. Or as low as the body could go. And then coming back up. Return to your wire pose two. Point the left foot out. Bend the knee 90 degrees. Half more space between the feet. Then hands to the sides, straight and long. You lean over to your left. Your left side can take your palm on the floor. Or if you have black, right beside you, you can take a block. Right hand up. And from here, you turn your right arm over. Here behind you. You can just stay here or you can use stop. If you choose to use stop, you just have your words down here and then take the left hand and hold the other end of the stop. And for the more advanced, you're, if you're flexible on the hip, then no need to so stop. Just have your fingers together and push the hip. Then yeah, coming back up to your wire pose. Now you take your hands down the floor. And then lower your right knee. As you lower your right knee, you turn your right foot backward. Then straighten the left leg um, towards the other side of the mat. Left hand up. So you have to firm your abdominal muscles. Then from here, you bend the leg backward, the left leg. Hold the foot with your left hand. From here, you pull the foot backward. So the more you pull the foot backward, the more you can feel this part of the chest and this part of the leg. 
careful not to force your lower back. You can just look down, especially if you have stiffness on the neck. And then you extend the leg, the arm, look down and take your palm to the floor. Take them both legs to the back. Bend the elbows, push the floor, lift the chest. Exhale. Go back to your down dog. So again, you just stay on your down dog. As then lower the knees. Sitting on your heels. It's day as people. From here, you extend your hands forward, place the fingers and push the palms up. Uh, forward first. If you want to push your chest or the palms as far forward as you can, stretching or expanding the back body, and then push the hands up, lifting the chest. From here, you bend your right side. Go to your right. You have to create that stretch here on the left side, the hip, the left lats, up to your shoulder and biceps. You just have to push the arm away from the head. Return to the center, then do the same thing on the other side. You can go as slow as you can. Remember to activate the entire middle of the body, your core muscles. And then up. Now hands down, relax. Now interlace the fingers behind your hip. Lift and broaden your chest, then extend your hands down and back away from the body. body. Look back and lean as far back as you can, pushing the hands down. So see if you can touch the, the hands down on the floor, uh, behind the feet. And then exhale, return to the center, and you fold forward. So as you fold forward, you move your head down, top of the head. So here, the crown of the head down the floor. See if you can lift the hip and push the arms up as high as you can. And then lift your chest up. Use your hands and see if stay in upright for a breath or two. Next, you take your palms here behind the hip. You will stretch again the chest, the legs, or shoulder muscles, and the front thighs and feet muscles. So lean back and take your palms behind your feet. Lift the chest by pushing the floor and press the feet to lift the hip. So go as high as you can for you to feel uh, the stretch. And drop your head forward as long as you're not feeling any tension on the neck and shoulders. Now then release. Coming back up to the center. This time you go down with the knife down on the floor, resting over the head. So here take your chest down and the and the hands, the left hand sideways. So you stretch your left hand right at the feet, the top of the top edge of your mat, palm facing down, and then the other hand, the right hand beside your chest. And then you have to turn your chest to the right. And step your right leg behind the hip. So once you step the right leg behind the hip, you fold the left leg. The half lotus, place it behind or against the right. You can just stay here or extend your right hand behind you and hold it behind. And you stay the head down. So you stay here and feel the left shoulder, the left chest, get it stretched.
As you release, take your right hand on the floor, extend both legs, and turn your hand down on the mat. We'll be doing the same thing on the other side. So you have to feel the, this part of the body. If you're feeling the elbow, the joint, the shoulder, then meaning your front to body. So you have to feel the chest and the shoulder, or the part, the shoulder, or the front part of the shoulder. So right hand sideways, left hand here beside the chest, and then turn. So as you turn, step, left leg. You can readjust the hip towards the middle of the mat and fold the right leg. So take the foot over the left side, and then you can just lower the head, or you can extend the arm. Turn it backward, move it behind the hip. So breathe. And try to be comfortable with, with the stretch or the pose you are right in you are in right now. And release the pose by taking the left hand on the floor to support your Wait, then extend the legs backward, turn the chest down. Hands beside the hip. Next, you bend both legs and hold your feet. So take the tops of the feet or the ankles with both hands. Squeeze your shoulders and try to pull the feet. Arms you can squeeze in the middle of your back, and not too much on your on your lower back. Stay on the pose and avoid opening the knees wider than the hip. You lower your chest and the legs down. Relax for a few breaths. I will do it one more time. You bend the legs, touch your, your feet or ankles. Now, squeeze your shoulders, lift the chest up as high as you can. When you are stretching your chest, lengthening the spine, stretching the front side of the hip, and then lower. Arms behind or beside the chest and put your self up back to hold four. Then go down to your child pose. Slowly come up and feet on your, on your hips. So going on to the next uh, position, so this is a little bit up. So I hope your shoulders are a little bit mobile and stable for uh, this pose. If not, then you just have to stick to the easier version of the pose. So we'll be doing the dolphin first. The forearms uh, stand, and then from there to your shoulders or uh, legs or weight of the body. Or the base is okay with the weight of the body. You're not shaking, you're not collapsing the neck. You're not feeling any tension on the neck and shoulders. And then you are going to go to the next level of the pose, which is a heart balance of four, a forearm a stand. So, but I don't suggest this pose, especially if you're not comfortable with this one. So this is for those who are really being in the practice for longer period of time, maybe a year or more. If you're not comfortable with this pose and you want to try it, then have someone to assist you. So do not do it on your own. 
can do it on the wall. So we'll do the dolphin first to gain to gain if the shoulders could uh, handle these outputs. So the forearms to the floor, shoulder this time, uh, palms together, or palms to the floor. So lying down dog, just tap the toes and push the hips backward and up. So if you're super tight, still tight on the shoulders, you will uh, you're a bit limited about pulling the between the shoulders back. So I'll try that to focus. Especially if you're pain, you're feeling painful on the shoulders or if you have shoulder problem. The others you just pull the shoulders back and up. You have to keep pushing the floor. This is the pull of gravity. So pushing the back. Your head is not down. You look forward. And try to pull the navel in. Try to flex your chest muscles and drive the forearm inward. Now you lower the knees down. So that was the easier version of the pose. So as you do the pose, your elbows will tend to move outward this way, especially on the next uh, pose. So you have to do what you have to do is to squeeze the arms inward. You have to flex your chest muscles, your serratus muscles, the muscles here, in between uh, your rib, rib cage, uh, not rib cage, ribs. Or you can use strap. You just have to tie uh, the forearms with the strap about the size of your shoulders, and the strap will stabilize your, your veins. So if that pose, the dolphin pose, the one you just did is a bit challenging for you, then stick to that. Do it for two more times, or maybe three. Or if you're tired, then just do it for another round. For the more advanced, this is your boss. We'll go straight to from that position, dolphin position. We'll go to a forearm stand. We will be lifting the, the legs upward, and you will be balancing on the arms. Again, just do this pose if you're comfortable with your, uh, your strong and stable on your arms and shoulders. Have them ask someone to assist you on the wall or on your mind. Going into the pose, your arms down, make sure your arms are stable, spread out your fingers, then tap your toes, lift one leg up, and then use the bottom leg to propel you up. You push the bottom leg to make you up. But if you're really flexible, you can bring the leg, the other leg up as high as you can, which I can back, and that leg. The top leg will be the one pulling the weight up over the body, over your uh, hand. So I'll be jumping up. So the try to stabilize the pose. So here you just have to receive the floor. No, so make your legs super tight. You will have difficulty of balancing or stabilizing the hip. What you should do is to keep your focus on your on your arms, shoulders, and palms. You may stay for five reps. That was really tough. Only the most while doing snatches. So, for you to balance, you have to really open the chest and you have to push the, the palms, the forearms away. Away from, or this one should move away from, you have to create space here between the arms and the chest. Without this, that space, the arm, the elbows will go in and the, the pressure or the weight will go on the tendons of your, either the elbow or the shoulders. And that's not good. You want it to be away, the elbow to be away from the body. So same principle applies on the wall. When you do it on the wall, you just have to keep the strap, your forearms on the floor, you just have to jump straight to the wall. Okay, that's a bit easier. But if you are flexible, you just have to raise one leg up, let the, the top leg pull the weight up, and it will pull the other leg upward. No need to jump, no need to uh, use the wall. So, so that's the big pose for today's class. Now, if you are okay, you sit down. And extend the legs forward. 
produce bad work. So sweet spray, make the bad spray and flow. Now extend your arms up. And I just to bend forward and see if you can reach your toes. Again, reaching the toes is not the goal, you just have to feel the stretch here on the legs. If you're feeling it, then you're perfectly on the right spot that you need to be. If you're not feeling anything, then put some effort, move the hand lower. Just stay on the forward fold for a few breaths. Add that slowly come up, stay down the back. Now as you lie down, you are cool down, lie on the floor, on the mat. And then you hug. Take the feet together first, then extend your arms up. You stretch your whole body. And then you hug your right knee to your chest. As you pull the knee, you stretch the left leg forward. Now from here, you feed your four, the right leg, on top of the left leg. You take the anchor a inch or two above your knee joint and hold the left thigh with your hands. You can lace the hands behind you, the thigh or behind the shin leg down. This will stretch the right side of your hip. Also make your back flat. Ground your shoulders, chin to chest. Now you release the left leg, extend it forward. Once again, take your right leg to your chest and then go to your twist. You pull the knee down to your left. Extend your right hand down to your right. You look to your right and try to turn your hip completely. Release, extend the legs down and arms up. Hug the left knee down to your chest. Stay here for a few breaths, releasing any tension between the spine. Now you see your four, the left leg over your right leg. You're going to then wrap your hands behind the, the thigh of the shin and pull the legs. Now straight in your right leg, you pull the left leg down, and then go to your twist, pull the knee down to your right, extend the left hand down to the left. Again, up. You extend your legs and arms for the final time. Hug your knees to your chest. Now grab hold of your big toes or the edges of your feet. Take the knees on the sides of your 
body and pull your legs side to side. Now then release the legs forward and down, hip width apart. Hands beside the hips, turn the palms up. We will rest for a moment. So this is the last and final pose. We have, we don't have anything to do here but to rest the body. Please feel, feel and absorb the benefits of the practice. So try your best to quiet your mind and to think of anything else. moment. Just breathe in and breathe out slowly and gently through your nostrils. Now keep still and take a rest. and fingers, arms overhead, legs together, give yourself a final stretch, and bend your knees, turn to your right, and slowly come up. So, thank you, Charlene, for attending. So that was the uh, flow, yoga flow for the shoulders and chest. So I hope this class will help you a lot. And before you go, uh, if you could share this to your friends, please do so. Uh, invite them to attend uh, on our next uh, live stream because this will help this channel grow. So, well, there's a technical difficulties, pero at least na tapos naman natin yung class. So maybe next time it will be better. So thank you. Thank you guys for attending. Namaste and keep safe, stay fit and healthy. Keep doing yoga.